if I would say there's one thing we need to learn, it is how to let bloom multiple perspectives and ideas in relation to any given threat so that we don't just get captured by one monocultural version of the truth because that's how you get very stupid and that's how you stop growth. All growth is ultimately a function of innovation and every innovation was at one point a minority opinion. So if you crush the minority, you're crushing the, the societal progress you'd like to have for your, for your children. Jay, as an American, you'd be aware that the founders were very wary of power being misused. They wanted to spread thinly over uh, society. They wanted no one to have too much power or to be able to hang on for it uh, too long. There is a sense in which the whole COVID mess, I think, reflects the loss of mooring in Western society. And we've seen this citizenry too easily panicked, I have to say that, too easily persuaded to surrender freedom, to demand that experts look after them, to look for security rather than self-reliance and the ability to show initiative and drive. That's a very broad philosophical position, but I thought you might like to take it home with some thoughts. I mean, I think the key part of the American system that, that really makes has made it work for, for centuries is this idea of checks and balances on power. Power has to exist. It's not like it's, it's optional. You, you need scientific expertise to be advising, uh, advising policymakers. Uh, what's happened during the pandemic is that the, the normal checks and balances within, uh, within a system like the American system, but actually around the world, have, have been subverted. There have been almost no check or balance to the power of scientific bureaucrats to mold the agenda of the entire world. And what we've learned is that scientists, uh, especially these sci a narrow group of scientific experts, do not have the wisdom to, uh, to, 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 to rule the world, do not have the wisdom to, uh, to structure society for the benefit of all. Uh, and so I, I, I do think, uh, in response to your earlier question, John, I think we will have a evaluation. We must have an evaluation. The harm has been too great to the poor, the vulnerable, the working class. They're, they're, uh, experience during the, the young, pandemic cries the out. Yeah, it cries out for it for a, 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 an honest evaluation, and it will come, John. And what I want to do is I want to work toward making that evaluation as constructive as possible, and then building systems where those checks and balances uh, will be in place, so that when there's another pandemic, this kind of panic, this kind of reliance on a small group of, of scientific clerisy does not happen again, and that we can have. Uh, a, a, a renewed enlightenment um, that will benefit, uh, benefit all from for, for a long time to come.